Hey everybody, we're at uh, Oki Data in Escondido, California, and we're wrapping Motors TV's F-150 pickup. I wanna show you today a recessed channel that we're gonna actually weave the material into. For a lot of you guys and gals out there that are putting the vinyl down, either a beginner or maybe even intermediate, a lot of people will actually take the material and try to push it down inside of the channels. What I'm gonna show you is, is a sure way of making sure that the material will stay down. And this is called weaving. So bear with me and we're gonna move right along this channel. Okay, first of all, this is what the channel looks like. As you guys can see, there's four different edges to it. So whenever we install, I'm gonna install that edge, the middle edge, the bottom edge, and then the outside edge. So weaving it into the area the entire time. So there's the first edge. You see that it's, it's on that surface right there. And now the inner part down to the bottom, down to the bottom, and now I'm applying the other edge. So I've literally woven the material down in. You can actually, if, if the camera should be able to pick this up, you'll actually see the material actually move. All right, here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way on that first edge all the way down the top of that channel, weaving it down into that first area. Obviously, we wanna get a hold of our, uh, ahead of ourselves and completely finish it, we can't. We've gotta literally work the whole channel all the way down the side of the truck. Not let, not allowing it to stick to anything else. So that upper edge is down. See, I'm only working the upper edge right now. Okay, and then go ahead and do the back part. And you can see it sucking it up. You can see it sucking the material up. Slowly working my squeegee, putting pressure on that area, weaving it down into the, into the channel, not pressuring it down into the channel. Okay, now I've got the middle part of the channel to do. So I'm gonna hold the material up and I'm going down to that lower surface now. If it starts to stick on you, pop it up. Listen to it, you can hear it every once in a while. Working our way down to the bottom portion of the channel. So this would be my third surface inside of there. Uh, there is no, on applying this stuff, is shortcuts will end up costing you money in the long run. So taking the low road is not the way to go, is go to the extra effort and weave those channels in so that in the case of Chris with motors, he doesn't call me next week and say, hey, why is my channels lifting up? So you can see a little bit of lifting, right? See the bubbling right there? Can you guys see that right there? That's bridging. We don't want that. And then I work all the way down. All right, now I'm gonna finish it off with my finger, just making sure it's down. And now I'm back out to the surface again. Now I'm back to the flat surface. So let's go ahead, go back into the middle of the panel and work from left to right. And I'll just kind of, in an angle, I'll pull that material down. Whenever you lift the material back up, you're gonna to wanna to shrink it back in when I crank it like that. I just, I heated it up just to get it go back to its original form. And then I'll start over, because I put a little rollover in it. Keeping it very close to the surface. And I move all the way down to the front of the vehicle. And then, so at the end of the day, I would do the entire rocker panel all the way down and that recessed channel, there's no pressure on it at all. So that's one of the tips for today is always weave your channels in unless they're so mild you can press pressure them in. Okay, so thanks for spending some time with us today.